Greetings all you Minix and Minds on our Grimes and welcome back to another Warframe Weapon Showcase. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Tenet Spirex, or Spirex? Spirex. Anyway, a pistol that, you know, I actually have been really, really enjoying. So, here's how it is set up with the Corrosive Build. Secondary Deadhead is maxed out. This weapon has a unique effect of when you get headshot kills, your reload speed uh, gets faster. For a little bit. Um, this thing also has some AoE. It's not a very large AoE. It's only 2 meters. But hey. It's it's an AoE. And you know. That's honestly fairly fairly good. I have 2 Forma in this thing. Uh, you can put more into it if you want. But honestly I feel like that's a bit unnecessary. Just because of how you know. These tenant weapons. Kuba weapons. Uh, function. You get more space per Forma. Anyway, mine has 57.4% heat. That isn't necessary at all. It just happened because I had this thing at about, I want to say around 30 or 40% cold before I got another one to make it heat. Anyway, we're going to go directly into the steel path. I'm going to be playing Nidus just because, you know, Nidus. And uh, Nidus is not going to be benefiting the pistol at all other than his two wrapping enemies up. So, I do have a Rile set up, and it is literally the same thing. I just change one mod, and that is literally it. So, let's go ahead and go into the Steel Path here. And show what this weapon is capable of, not just against, you know, normal Grenier, but also the Acolyte. I hope, I hope, that it is not Malice. Anybody but Malice. Christ on a bike. Why is Malice such a problem? He mag bubbles you. Yeah. Not cool, bro. Either way, um, I've said this before, but I'll say it again. Trying to hit at least, a th trying to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Uh, I don't know if we can do it. It would be really cool if we could. Either way. Where are the enemies coming from? Oh, there's a bunch of them. Hello. So yeah, the one augment that gives crit is only for primaries, not secondaries. I kind of wish it affected secondaries, but whatever. I also got to remember to get headshot kills to amp this damage up a bit more and also to show the bonus reload. Bonus reload speed. But as you can see, I mean, all these tenant weapons are really powerful. This thing is perfectly capable of one-shotting most enemies. I mean, it really just depends on what enemy it is. I mean, obviously. Just need to get more stacks going. Okay, game, don't do that. <laughs> yeah. Now, there is a big problem with this weapon, and it's most it, it's mostly just like a pet peeve. I wish the magazine was larger. I wish this thing had a deeper mag, but that that's just it's just sort of a pet peeve. It doesn't really matter too much. Obviously, if this thing had a uh, even faster reload, I could do that. If I put on stunning speed, I would get more reload and status chance. But I don't really see where I could put that. I could probably take off. No, I, I wouldn't want to take off lethal torrent because it's rate of fire and also even more multi shot. So you know that that is an option if you feel the need. But yeah. Normally when pistols come out in this game, I'm just, I'm just like, okay, cool, but I don't know if I'm going to use it too much. This is one of the exceptions, that and like this, the secondary Tomb Finger, the Tenet Diplos, uh, other handguns like that because they're fun. This one is, a, I will say it is kind of generic. It, it's, it's sort of like a Tomb Finger, how it functions. It's an AoE, 
a small AoE uh, secondary. But it does have the unique gimmick, and also it is a tenant weapon, which is, you know, cool. It also sounds pretty cool, to be honest. It sounds very uh, sci-fi. And yeah, obviously, it's it's doing pretty damn well. What the hell? Why does that happen? That's kind of annoying. And getting headshots is not a problem. Also, a thing you can do is Arcane Pistolier. That will give you infinite ammo uh, when you get uh, headshots. Or headshot kills, I'm pretty sure. Which is not hard to do with this weapon at all. But getting a full set of Arcane Pistolier is kind of annoying. I mean, you have to do arbitrations, which you know, that's, not, that's not annoying at all. I, I like arbitrations. It's just... It's kind of a rare chance to get that thing, so it might take you a while. I've gotten multiple sets, but I've always sold them because they actually sell for decent plat. So if you have the plat to buy it, then go ahead. But if not, eh, you're not you're not missing out much, really. Either way, we'll see what this thing does against the uh, acolyte. Spoiler, the Acolyte is not going to live very long against this pistol. And yeah, um, when you get multiple headshots, you see up there it says times two. Times two, uh, even faster reload. I think times two is uh, its max. But you know, that's fine. So, with updates to this game... Uh, I Obviously, the new war is coming out, and that's what DE is focused on. Oh, my God. Can you assholes not take my freaking gun when I'm doing a showcase? Um, they're focusing on the new war. By all means, take as long as you need for that, because that that's sort of a big thing when it comes to story, because it's like the m major story uh, plot point that we've heard so much about, and yet nothing of it has happened yet. But uh, we're going to get Harrow Prime is the next Prime, most likely. So that's going to be cool. I wonder how uh, his Prime weapons are going to be. And also, it does mean that Harrow is going to be easier for people to get. Which is a good thing, because Harrow is fun. Difficult to use, but fun. Especially when you put Pillage on him. Either way. Ah, it's Torment. My favorite victim. Yeah, um, pretty powerful. I was missing a lot of shots just because there was a lot of enemies in front of me, so... That's, that's, that's fine, though. Either way. That's the Tenet Spirix in a nutshell. I'm not even going to bother showing, say, like, a disruption mission against Corpus because... You know, you... Oh my... You are a fucking prick. You know... This thing against normal level enemies is kind of a joke. Now, it does not have innate slash, but it does have a lot of innate impact. So if you really want to, you could put hemorrhage on, but that really isn't necessary. At normal levels, this thing is going to be one-shotting everything, essentially. Even uh, Demolus, it's going to be doing quite a lot of damage. So, especially once you have this thing fully stacked with, with the uh, mods and the arcane, which is not hard to do. Either way, it's it's a very powerful, cool pistol, and I would absolutely recommend getting it because it's fun. Secondary Merciless. I'm pretty sure mine's already maxed, but we'll see. Either way, I have no real complaints about the Tenet Spirix, other than the magazine size could definitely be bigger. If it was, say, 16 or 20, it would be an even better handgun. But it is already pretty powerful, so giving it a bigger magazine would make it kind of OP. But, I mean, whatever. It's a PvE game at the end of the day. Uh, yeah, mine's already maxed. Would definitely recommend if you like this kind of pistol. It's a whole lot of fun. It's just overall, like, it's great. So, go get it. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching, and remember, in Drillby, we trust.